Welcome back guys, JC here, and here is how you flash race flight firmware onto a CC3D Revo. Now in the past, if you have used the CC3D boards with clean flight, you would know that there was a bunch of stuff you had to do, but uh, it's not like that anymore, and I actually have probably the most simplest way to do it. At least I'll try to explain it the most simplest way I can. So if you have not yet already downloaded the RaceFlight configurator, you need to go ahead and do that. Then once you go into RaceFlight, go to Flash Firmware Flasher, and like with Betaflight and CleanFlight, you can load firmware online, which is you know choosing your firmware, then clicking here, and then it just pops up for you. But uh, they don't have that as of now. I would assume they plan on adding it since this is here and grayed out. But what we will have to do is go to Download, and uh, it may ask you to log in if you, I would assume if you have downloaded RaceFlight, then you already have a username and password and all that. So go ahead and log in. Uh, now just scroll down and download one of these two. I would assume if you have a Spectrum satellite receiver, then uh, you would download this. But because I'm using FreeSky receivers, I will download this one. Uh, I've already downloaded it. Once you do that, just place it in a folder where you know it's at. Now let's talk about the drivers that are currently on the board. We will actually be doing a little bit of driver flip-flopping. So if we plug in, actually, first open your device manager. Now my mouse is probably going to stop working because it, it just does when I open the device manager. Um, at least on your screen, I can still see it. Anyway, uh, go to View and Show Hidden Devices. Now I'll scroll down, open up Ports Common LPT, as well as Universal Serial Bus Devices. Now, if we plug in the CC3D Revo, the driver that should be on it, at least if you have not changed it, and you have been using this in clean flight in the past or whatever uh, you should have the revolution virtual com port um, but it doesn't matter even if you don't see that I'm going to get everyone on the same page now the next thing we want to do is uh, if you don't already have Zadig then download it you can just go to beta flight or clean flight and the Zadig download is right here so go ahead and download it and install it I've already created a desktop icon on here now you just want to go to options and list all devices then find your flight controller on here um, you just have to use a little bit of common sense and figure out which one it is it's obviously not these it's not my gaming mouse it's not my microphone all that leaves is STM32 virtual com port now you want to uh, this is the driver that's currently on it and if you have something else that's perfectly fine then you have the green arrow saying this is what we want to put on it so go ahead and put the win USB on it okay now uh, if you come down it's no longer in ports where it used to be uh, right here but now it is down here in universal serial bus devices what you want to do now is right click update driver software browse my computer for driver software let me pick from a list of device drivers uncheck show compatible hardware and what we're looking for is Microsoft then find USB serial device click next click close now it should be showing up back in ports common LPT but under USB serial device the COM number doesn't matter as long as it shows USB serial device. You should be good, but I'm going to take it a step further just in case you do have a different driver for your bootloader. If you look on the back side, you will see these two tiny pads side by side, and they say it's so small you can't even read it. One says 3.3 volt, the other one I can't read, but I would assume it says ground because that's what it is. I'm just going to take a piece of wire and run it across both of those pads and put my thumb on top and then plug in my USB cable and this will put us in the bootloader mode 
if you are not sure if you're in the bootloader mode see notice how we all we have is the power light if I don't enter the bootloader then we get these two lights over here as well basically what I'm saying is you don't want those lights all you want is the green light so I'm going to go back into the bootloader and notice how I don't get those two other lights so that's how I know I'm in the bootloader the other way you know is by going down to universal serial bus devices and you should be seeing SCM32 bootloader but if not uh, that's fine if you don't see that then this is what you do go back to Zadig um, once again find it and it's uh, if you won't be seeing STM32 bootloader you might be seeing something else it doesn't matter just put win USB on it and then click install driver and now you should be seeing SEM32 bootloader so now everyone's on the same page so let's close that out go into race flight and we are still in the bootloader if you are not in the bootloader then get into the bootloader click uh, load firmware locally and we want to choose the Revo uh, download that we downloaded then click flash firmware and it should be flashing now if it's not flashing then go back recheck your drivers make sure you see the SEM32 bootloader driver when you are in the bootloader and when you're not in the bootloader then it should be uh, whatever I said it was I can't remember just a little side note uh, another way of knowing if you are in the bootloader you will see DFU up here okay when it's done it should say programming successful then what you want to do is disconnect your USB cable then plug it back in this time not in the bootloader and connect and now you're connected that's basically it guys um this is my first official video for the race flight playlist I'll leave a link to that playlist in the description below you can check it from time to time I will be adding to it uh, as I get to it and that's gonna be all for now so thanks for watching I'll see you again soon